Mo and Muhammad are 20 years old and are both roasting. They're Muslim and don't want to fall into sin. Mo realizes he needs to get married. If he doesn't get married, he's definitely going to fall into sin. And in fact, he's already sinning all the time, so he's really in a hurry. He starts focusing on women and marriage when he's online, and he's online a lot. He watches videos, comments on threads, and searches for how to get married as soon as possible. Most of what he finds is negative, saying women these days are no good, they ask for a crazy mahar, and their father will reject you if you're in your early 20s and don't have a house and car to your name. He speaks to a few girls online with the goal of getting married and gets obsessed with them. But because of the negative stories he's heard and his low confidence, he's scared to actually propose. This goes on for years and he becomes resentful and wonders how he'll ever get married even at age 24. Now what about Muhammad? He also realizes he needs to get married or he'll end up sinning. He even does fall into sin here and there, but he doesn't focus on the online chit chat about women. He realizes the reality is he's quite young still at uni and that his life purpose is not to get married or please a woman but to please Allah. He focuses on this. He improves his productivity and does well at uni. He constantly seeks forgiveness for the mistakes he's making. He attends classes to learn his religion once a week. He starts a side hustle to get experience and a bit of money while at uni. He fasts once a week and reads a few pages of Quran every day. And all of this time he's asking Allah for help for sincerity, for acceptance, and an amazing wife. At age 23, he's out of uni, in his first job, and he's keeping up with his good habits because of the skills he's gained during those hard years. And from where he never imagined, he discovered his wife. Allah brought her to him when he was ready to get married. He didn't think much about getting accepted or rejected because he hadn't been online reading about that stuff. He went and proposed, she accepted, her father accepted, and now he's married. Mo, however, is 25 and still wondering when his time will come. Assalamu alaikum. I'm Amin and I wrote this book on Islamic masculinity. When you hear these two people's stories, what comes to mind? What's the difference? It's what they focused on. One of them focused on Allah, pleasing Allah, making real progress in their life, and the other focused on women and how to get validation from them. Both really wanted and needed to get married, but because of their different focus, one of them got a different result to the other. Now this is quite dangerous because if you've ever been in Mo's shoes or a similar situation, you'll know the position that you put women on in your life. Your happiness is based on a woman wanting to marry or validating you. Your time is devoted to chasing women, stalking them online, or even worse. All in all, you seek to please women. Your worship is even used sometimes to try to please women by doing it and then posting it online. Now, I'm not saying this officially, but from what I learned in classes, this sounds a bit like shirk, meaning putting people in a similar position to Allah, which is completely wrong and one of the biggest sins in Islam. So the question comes, are you doing shirk with women? Maybe, possibly? You're supposed to dedicate your time, your love, your seeking of pleasure, your seeking of reward from Allah, but you're going around seeking it from women. That's dangerous. Notice also how Mo was spending a lot of time reading, searching, chatting, and listening, but not really doing much at all, not taking action. Muhammad was working, exercising, worshipping, and he was making small, but he was making progress in real important parts of his life. Even though, again, he was in a desperate position, he wanted to get married, but instead of searching and obsessing over it, he made real progress in his life. Do you think him getting busy with real productive good things in his life helped him to get married and keep him distracted or made him worse? Of course, it made things easier for him. And finally, the fact that Muhammad was actually an action taker actually put him in a position where he ended up earning more, was healthier and better looking. He was more confident and he met and networked with more people along the way. And in the end, the fact that Muhammad was going out there, networking with people, talking to people, becoming more confident, being able to talk about it, was working out, was becoming better looking because of it, that gave him real progress in his life, but it also made him get closer to getting married and more likely to get married. The fact that Muhammad was an action taker actually put him in a better position to get married even though he wasn't thinking and paying much attention to how women are or how the marriage scene is. So all in all from this example you can see that if you put all your focus on Allah, you try to please Allah, you try to make real progress in your life and when possible yes put the steps in place to try to get married but don't obsess over it and make women your God. And by the way the obsession over women includes making every video on YouTube 
that you make about them, criticizing them. You know who you are. Keep in mind that Allah is the one who can bring you a wife at any moment. You just have to focus on your life purpose, on pleasing him and putting efforts towards getting married, but also making progress in other areas of your life. Remember your goal, put work towards what you want to achieve and ask Allah for what you want and then have trust in him. And if even after watching this, you still feel like there's too much competition out there for the good women, then I've made a video just for you. It's called Giving Hope to Single Muslim Men. Check that out next. And Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. See I could really break down Thinking about my past now Holding on to this rope tied I've read the script's gonna lie